as said game for Kev. It's Augsburg at plus 210. Glad back at plus 130. Let's, let's go straight to the goals. The goal line is over three at plus 110, under three at minus 130. I think we see three goals. The draws a runner at plus 250. Alex, you can go first here because Gladbach are big strong, but they are neglectful to say the least. Naive is another word we could use. Or they just can't be bothered to defend uh, against an Augsburg side who they're changing and trying to change their DNA to hang on in there. But they are looking dangerous and They'll take a lot of confidence from scoring three at the weekend. Yeah, I think that the value is on Augsburg uh, here, uh, plus 210 with uh, plus 130 for, for Gladbach. Gladbach are dreadful on the road, zero wins uh, and uh, 14 games, 14 goals uh, uh, conceded in seven game in seven games, so uh, an average of two goals allowed per game on the road. Augsburg, uh, this is their chance to to, to take points uh, because uh, they will play against. Uh, um, a team that struggles on the road, uh, Augsburg, right now, they are equal on points with Stuttgart on the red zone, right? Okay, the first team under the uh, the line will play the playoff, the relegation playoffs. But Augsburg also, uh, if you compare um, Gladbach's uh, uh, record on the road and Augsburg record at home, which is the worst in the league, only one win uh, in eight uh, home games. I think that this should be one of the most entertaining uh, matches uh, from uh, this uh, midweek round. I think that they will go, uh, they will both go for it. I think that there is a chance uh, for this match to, to even uh, end in a draw. But uh, comparing the numbers a little bit, I think that the value is in Augsburg. I, I will not touch the winner's market, right? But I'm definitely going for the Alex Classic here because Gladbach can score. Augsburg, we've seen how they can compare to a bad defense like Dortmund's. And I think that Gladbach is not far from what we've seen uh, from Dortmund uh, against uh, Augsburg. So I think that this is a even a 2-2 type of game. Could well be. Yeah. Could well be. I mean, the team totals glad back to minus 105 to score twice. Augsburg to score twice is at plus 135. I mean, you have to stay away from the money line here, though, Kev. But Augsburg at plus 210, will they will have their suitors because they'll think Augsburg have scored three at the weekend, even though Dortmund did contribute to that. But Gladbach let in three as well. Surely goals is the only way you go here. You'd think so. There's no doubt that Gladbach's best work has been at home this season. Away from home, they've been nowhere near as good under Daniel Farker. I think with Augsburg, I just want to watch them a few more times, I think, because it feels for them like uh, more than a lot of teams. We need to see what Enrico Marsen's been able to do with them in the break because a lot of their players wouldn't have gone away at the World Cup. So he's had a chance to work with them. They've made quite a few signings as well, actually. Um, guys like Cholina, Yeboa, they've, they've made quite a few signings. So it, it does look a different team to the one we kind of left behind in November. So, yeah, absolutely right to avoid the money line. And I think if you had to go for something in this game, goals would definitely be it. Yeah, and I, I just can't see either of them uh, keeping a clean sheet because it's glad, but no, that they will. They do not ever lay, or they don't very often lay a duck egg in naught. Uh, and Augsburg, this is not the Augsburg that we left in November. I mean, listen, if they scored three at the weekend, and we keep going on about it. Prior to that, they wouldn't score three in three weeks. And now all of a sudden, they've got their returning home. They're like little mini heroes, but they've got to build upon that. And what a team to come and build upon, because they, I think that Gladbach are as bad as Dortmund uh, at the back. But that's not saying much for either of them. Let's have a little look at the official picks. And by the way, there's all sorts of uh, prices going on here, because myself and Alex have dittoed again. It's uh, the Alex Classic. Both teams scoring over two and a half at minus 120. Um uh, just keep an eye on that. Just keep an eye on that because it could uh, get closer to around the plus, uh, the minus one ten. But we fancy, we don't know who's winning, but we do fancy no clean sheets. 